All right, chapter four were um, closed systems, all right, where we did have a change in energy. Let's look at this one. Mass of 15 kilograms of air and a piston cylinder device is heated from 25 to 77 degrees Celsius uh, by passing current through a resistance heater. Inside the cylinder, the pressure inside the, constant, inside the cylinder is held constant, 300 kPa during the process. Heat loss uh, occurs. Determine the electrical energy supplied. All right. So, this is Q plus W equals delta E, right? Uh, and that E could be U, kinetic energy, potential energy. Um, and it could be U, could be H. All right, remember that. Uh, okay, so this is a constant pressure process, right? A constant pressure process. So this right here is going to be delta H, and I don't have to worry about the boundary work. I don't have to calculate the boundary work because the H includes the boundary work for a constant pressure device. So look at all the other boundary works. Um, if there's constant volume, you don't. There's no boundary work. If there's constant pressure, there is boundary work, but it is inside the H, right? It is combined with the enthalpy. If it's any other process or kind of a combination of processes, then yeah, you might need to calculate the boundary work over here. Um, just remember how I, if I do this plus W, I'm going to do um, work in is positive, work out is negative. All right, so anyway, this is a delta H. This is a M h2 minus h1 I can get this from maybe from property tables or CP Delta T we'll see all right so here's where's where's where are some Q's and W's uh, a heat loss of 60 kilojoules uh, there's some work in by the resistance heater uh, and that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find W N equals M delta H. All right, so this is air, uh, table A17. Air is just the H. It's just a function of temperature. So the, the H at 77 degrees, the H at 25 degrees C. I've got 350 Point four nine minus two ninety eight point one eight. I would get a work of eight forty five kilojoules. Okay, uh, try CP delta T. I bet, especially with such a small temperature change, I bet you get some very very close to eight forty five kilojoules. It didn't want kilojoules. It wanted kilowatt hours. Um, uh, the difference between kilo joule and kilowatt hours it's instead of per second uh, we multiply it times hours or there is a unit conversion i think on that conversion sheet for kilojoules to kilowatt hours 0.235 kilowatt hours right there okay that's just one example here's another example except this isn't a process this is just showing all the different ways to calculate delta h and delta u um, for liquids, um, but go back and look at this problem. This is this is all the problem before from chapter three. It's almost a chapter four problem. Remember, remember, remember. I can't emphasize this enough. Uh, how sometimes they give you a roundabout way of giving you the uh, specific volume, and then for a closed rigid tank, that specific volume one is the same as specific volume two. And then from that, you can find everything. And then I didn't do it for this problem, but you might have a Q plus W equals delta. You'd have delta U for a rigid tank. Okay. And then look at the boundary work. Sometimes if it's not an easy, um, either constant volume or constant pressure, then you do have to calculate boundary work here on the left-hand side of our equation. Um in order to solve for any other work or Q or delta H. Okay? All right, so chapter four is closed system.